Mheshimiwa Rais Otuongoze kwa sherehe ya leo Moja Bili Peperusha bendera Salimia Mheshimiwa Rais Mashujaa Afya nyumbani Kauli mbiu Karibu Mheshimiwa Rais Otuongoze kwa sherehe ya mashujaa Moja Mbili Mashujaa oye Karibu Karibu Mheshimiwa Rais Otuongoze kwa sherehe ya mashujaa Wapi shangwe wanafunzi Peperusha bendera Makofi Moja Mbili Karibu Mweshimi wa rais Kwa sherehe Ya mashuja Kenya Taifa letu Kenya Inchi yetu Wapishangwa na vigelegele Karibu Mweshimi wa rais Otuongoze Kwa sherehe Ya mashuja Moja Mili Karibu Mweshimi wa rais Kwa siku ya leo Community Health Promoters Peperusha Bendera Changwa na vigelegele Wanaoboresha afia Karibu Mweshimi wa rais Otuongoze Kwa sherehe Ya mashuja Moja Afia yetu Maisha yetu Afia nyumbani Promoters changwe Peperusha bendera Tumkaribisha mweshimi wa rais Kenya Taifa letu Kenya Inchi yetu Tunasonga mbele Kenya Tuipendayo Moja Mili Karibu Mweshimi wa rais Otuongoze Kwa sherehe Ya mashuja Karibu Karibu Asante Marun Commandos Asante sana mwenzangu Kwa kweza pia kutuelekeza viema Niombe tubaki tukiwa tumesimama Kwa wimbo wa taifa Na wimbo wa jumi Afrika Mashariki Wale ambawa mevalia kofia za chepeo Tafadhali tuweze kuzivua
mwenzangu wa gwarida hivi sasa kija kumuomba kwa heshima rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya na amiri jeshi mkuu wa majeshi yote ya ulinzi idini ya kuweza kagua gwarida la heshima laandaliwa na majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya Asanteni kwa heshima tunaweza keti tafadhali. Anaye msindikiza Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, ni mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya, Jenerali Francis Omondi Ogola. bendera ya kikosi hupewa heshima ya hadhi ya juu unavyoshuhudia hivi sasa uwanjani mheshimiwa rais akipeana heshima yake kwa bendera ya kikosi cha kwanza cha jeshi letu la nchi kavu kuwa gwarida hivi sasa akiomba ruhusa toka kwake mheshimiwa rais ya kuweza kuondoa gwarida uwanjani punde tu mheshimiwa rais atakapochukua nafasi yake kwenye jukwa maalum
kwa desturi za kijeshi sharti bendera ya kikosi kuwa mbele ya gwaride tunavyoshuhudia hivi sasa kutoka kwa kala officer na hali kadhalika parade arsen wakichukua nafasi yao ndani ya gwaride hii basi mheshimiwa rais kwa amri hiyo wanajeshi hao wanaondoka hivi sasa uwanjani kupata kujiunga na wenzao kuzidi kudumisha ulinzi wa taifa letu la Kenya kuhakikisha kwamba anga letu liko salama fuo za bahari ziko salama masaa ishirini nane. Mheshimiwa Rais Mkuu wa Gwaride hii ni Luteni Kanali Daniel Mulindo Baraza naibu wake Meja Hillary Kiprotich Piaban Division ya kwanza chini yake Meja Andrew Simiu Wamocha Afisa aliyetwi kwa jukumu la kubeba bendera iliyofahari ya kikosi cha kwanza Luteni Titus Toroitich Predarsem Warrant of Sawan Agostino Eric Ekal Division ya pili jeshi letu la nchikavu wakiwa katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe chini yake captain Bonfencha Ochieng Division ya tatu mheshimiwa rais jeshi letu la wanaanga wakiwa katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe chini yake Meja Douglas Wanjohi Mwangi Division ya nne jeshi letu la wana maji chini yake Meja Mohamed Said Fred Adjutant Captain Rashid Suleiman Juma mwekalama jeshi letu la nchi kavu basi mheshimiwa rais linafuata gwaride la vikundi na kwa mengi zaidi nitampisha mwenzangu Corporal Jefwa aweze kuendelea mheshimiwa rais nafuata hivi sasa ni gwaride la vikundi kiongozwa na jeshi letu la nchi kavu Kahawa Garrison e Company katika mavazi yao mazito ya kivita chini yake Meja Mike Kipskogei Cheriot Company CSM Warrant Officer 2 Charles Msioki Kikundi cha kwanza chini yake Luteni Justice Kiprono katika magwanda yao mazito ya kivita Kikundi cha pili katika magwanda yao mazito ya kivita chini yake Luteni Sheth Omolo Kikundi cha tatu katika mavazi yao mazito ya kivita kipo chini yake Luteni Ahmed Bwanaheri Wanafuata hivi sasa ni B Company katika magwanda yao mepesi ya kivita chini yake Meja Kelvin Kipkirui Cheriot Company CSM Warrant Officer 2 James Uwekesa kikundi cha kwanza chini yake Luteni Madai Nderitu kikundi cha pili chini yake Luteni Diana Njau katika magwanda yao mepesi ya kivita kikundi cha tatu katika magwanda yao mepesi ya kivita kipo chini yake Luteni Said Bavu RSM Warrant of Sawan Nur Maalim Yusuf wanafuata hivi sasa ni polisi wa kitaifa wakiongozwa na Kenya Police Service chini yake Superintendent Jeremiah Leariwal akisaidiana na Chief Inspector Joseph Mutua 
kikundi cha kwanza chini yake inspector Simon Karkuli katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe kikundi cha kinadada chini yake inspector Rael Ambassa katika maganda yao rasmi ya sherehe wanafuata hivi sasa ni GSU ceremonial wakiongozwa na chief inspector Wesonga Makwari akisaidiana na inspector Isaac CTNA katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe. Wanafuata hivi sasa ni Reke Combat Squad katika magwanda yao mazito ya kikazi chini yake Inspector Bruno Okod. Kinafuata hivi sasa ni kikundi speciali cha kutumia majibwa el maarufu kama K9 Squad chini yake Chief Inspector Caleb Osoro akisaidiana na Inspector Nicodemus Mwinzi. Wanafuata hivi sasa ni Administration Police Service chini yake Superintendent Abdullahi Nur Wario akisaidiana na Chief Inspector Donald Mwanenge Kalama kikundi cha kwanza chini yake Inspector Lydia Goga katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe. Wanafuata hivi sasa ni polisi wa kupambana na wezi wa mifugo chini yake Inspector Faith Anyona katika mavazi yao mazito ya kikazi Kinafuata hivi sasa ni kikundi cha kupambana na majanga pale yanapochipuka chini yake Inspector Joshua Mutuku Mheshimiwa Rais wanafuata hivi sasa ni boda police unit katika magwanda yao mazito ya kikazi chini yake inspector Samuel Munene wanafuata hivi sasa mheshimiwa rais ni askari wa kuchunga fuo zetu za bahari na maziwa yetu ya ndani almaarufu inland waters chini yake luteni Isaiah Simeo Wanafuata hivi sasa ni askari gereza chini yake Superintendent Bernard Mosima akisaidiana na Chief Inspector Zakayo Wechuli kikundi cha kwanza chini yake Inspector Rafael Abeka katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe Kinafuata kikundi cha kinadada chini yake Chief Inspector Irene Ontuga akisaidiana na inspector Roda Cherono wakiwa katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe wanafuata hivi sasa ni askari wa kupambana na gazia katika magereza chini yake inspector Felix Ouma wanafuata hivi sasa ni askari wa kuchunga mbuga zetu za wanyama chini yake Warden 2 Albert Lesuda akisaidiana na Assistant Warden 2 Norman Makoha Wanafuata hivi sasa ni askari wa kuchunga misitu chini yake Superintendent Philip Ndeima akisaidiana na Inspector Nelson Ayodi katika magwanda yao mazito ya kikazi Mheshimiwa Rais wanafuata hivi sasa ni vijana wa huduma kwa taifa chini yake Superintendent Samuel Mwade akisaidiana na Chief Inspector Eric Wairobi kikundi cha kwanza chini yake Inspector Mark Ochola katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe kinafuata kikundi cha kinadada chini yake chief inspector Pamela Simiu akisaidiana na inspector Lilian Muga wakiwa katika mavazi yao rasmi ya sherehe wanafuata hivi sasa kikundi cha tatu chini yake chief inspector Charles Oletiwat akisaidiana na inspector Matthew kipngeno wakiwa katika magwanda yao mazito ya kikazi kikundi cha nne 
kipo chini yake Chief Inspector Oscar Uwanjala akisaidiana na Inspector Samson Uwarui wakiwa katika magwanda yao mazito ya kikazi wanafuata hivi sasa mheshimiwa rais ni askari wa gatuzi hili la Kericho chini yake Chief Inspector Irene Chelagat akisaidiana na Inspector Bernard Kiprono tuwapigie makofi askari hawa wa gatuzi hili la Kericho kwa kazi yao nzuri wanayofanya katika gatuzi hili anayefunga ni mweka alama jeshi letu la nchi kavu Mheshimiwa Rais hivi sasa nizamu ya bendi za majeshi ya ulinzi kuweza kuondoka uwanjani chini yake mkurugenzi wa mziki jeshi la nchi kavu Captain Kelvin Kivudi Nyaga Senior Drama Meja Warrant of Sawan David Maina wakiondoka hapa uwanjani baada ya kutuletea burudani siku ya leo Mheshimiwa Rais tafuata tamasha ya ndege zetu tukiletewa na jeshi la wanaanga na kwa mengi zaidi nitampisha mwenzangu Jabiri Banzi aweze kuendelea Asante sana mwenzangu Mheshimiwa Rais linafuata onyesho la ndege zikiwemo ndege zetu za kivita tukiletewa na jeshi letu la wanahewa Kutufungi, kutufungulia onyesho hili la ndege mheshimiwa rais ni ndege zinazotumika kwa mafunzo ya kiwango cha juu na marubani wetu ndege aina ya tukano zikipaa kwa utaratibu kabisa tuwape makofi marubani wetu Asante ni mheshimiwa rais zitafuata hivi sasa ndege zetu za kivita ndege aina ya A5 zikipaa angani kwa utaratibu kabisa zikiachana kushoto kulia katikati na kupaa kwa umaridadi kabisa mheshimiwa rais ndege hizi zina uwezo wa kuruka kwa kasi zaidi kurusha makombora kwenye ngome za adui huku wanajeshi wa jeshi letu la wanahewa wakishirikiana na jeshi letu la nchi kavu pamoja na jeshi letu la wanamaji kama ilivyo dhamira ya mkuu wetu wa majeshi one force one mission kuhakikisha kwamba nchi yetu iko salama kabisa ikiwemo mipakani angani pamoja na baharini basi mheshimiwa rais ndege hizi zitarudi moja baada ya ingine ili kuweza kutuletea maonyesho mbalimbali mbali. na siku ya leo ndege ya kwanza mheshimiwa rais inapakwa maridadi kabisa ikituletea mizunguko ya kushoto na ndege ya pili mheshimiwa rais inapaa kwa umaridadi utaratibu na kuzunguka mara nne kwa umaridadi kabisa tuwape makofi marubani wetu tafadhali ndege ya tatu mheshimiwa rais itapaa juu kabisa kuzunguka mizunguko ya kushoto na mheshimiwa rais itafuata ndege aina ya F5 vile vile ambayo itatuletea mizunguko minne kwa utaratibu kama tunavyoshuhudia mabibi na mabwana basi tuwape makofi marubani wetu ikiwa ni tajriba ya hali ya juu kabisa ya marubani wetu wa kivita ambao upambana na adui kwenye operesheni 
mbali mbali basi mheshimiwa rais kitafuata kikundi cha ndege aina ya tukano wakipita kwa maridadi kabisa wakiupuliza moshi mweupe kuachana kushoto kulia katikati kulala chali na kurudi sehemu waliotoka tuwape makofi marubani wetu tafadhali basi mheshimiwa rais inakuja ndege aina F5 ikituletea bombas ikipita kwa kasi ya juu na kutoa sauti kali kabisa ambayo mara nyingi humfanya adui akose sehemu ya kuingia na angalau kutamani hata ardhi kuweza kupasuka basi mheshimiwa rais itafuata ndege aina ya helikopta ambayo imelibeba bango linalosema happy mashujaa day tuwape makofi marubani wetu tafadhali na huo ndio utakuwa mwisho wa onyesho la ndege na nitarudisha kwa mwenzangu sergeant misango mbaye aweze kuendelea uh, mheshimiwa rais huo utaweza kuwa mwisho ama tamati ya tamasha za kijeshi kwa pamoja na ningependa kuwashukuru flag staff wetu Meja Ismail Olwal, OGW, Luteni Silivana na Punyi Lesepe, Senior Sergeant Daniel Koech kutoka jeshi letu la wanaanga na niweze kuwashukuru Defense Forces Sergeant Major Warrant Officer 1 Elijah Asproni Koranga, Kenya Army Sergeant Major Warrant Officer 1 Joel Gatibi Murage, Kenya Air Force Sergeant Major Warrant Officer 1 Dennis Namunyu Oletalengo na bila kumsahau Naval Sergeant Major Warrant of Sawan Bwana Haji Omar wote wakiwa ni OGW niwashukuru wenzangu Koplo Jabiri Banzi Koplo Jefwa jina langu ni Sergeant Misango Mbae nikiweza kuarejesha moja kwa moja hadi kwake Sergeant Katana aweze kuendelea kwako Katana Shukrani za dhati mwenzangu basi mheshimiwa rais tunaingia kwenye kipindi cha pili na karibu tena ni kipindi ambacho kimeweza kuandaliwa na gwaride la maskauti nchini Kenya likiongozwa na bendi ya shule ya upili ya wavulana ya Kabianga kutoka eneo bunge la Belgut ili waweze kuhakikisha kwamba hatua zote ndani ya gwaride hili zinaendelea vizuri wanajulikana kwa jina maarufu the most sought after school in Kenya. Kabianga hai mheshimiwa rais ilianzishwa mnamo mwaka 1925 na hivi sasa inaongozwa na mwalimu mkuu bwana Ezekiel Kurgat, mkuu wa bendi akiwa ni mwalimu Henry Olela na ye drum major siku ya leo akiwa ni Alphonse Choge. Mkiwa tayari basi tuendelee. Scouts mheshimiwa rais ni vijana ambao wanaanzia umri mdogo na wako na hamasisho kubwa kwenye jamii zetu ikiwa sasa wewe ndiwe patron wao mheshimiwa rais wanaiga mtindo wako na mfano wako ili kuweza kuwa na maadili mema kwenye jamii Wimbo wa kwanza ukiwa ni mambo ni sawa sawa mheshimiwa rais vikundi hivi vitaenda kushirikisha Girl Guides pamoja na St John's Ambulance ambayo ni shule ya upili ya wasichana ikijulikana kama Kipsigis Girls High School
na kwa kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba hatua zilizoko ndani ya gwaride hili la maskauti zinaenda sawa sawia ni kikundi cha Kabianga Boys na nyimbo zao tamu tamu Kikundi cha kwanza cha gwaride la maskauti mheshimiwa rais ni kuanzia miaka saba hadi tisa ikijulikana kama sungura wakiweza kuvalia kitambara cha rangi ya manjano vile vile kikundi kinachofuata chini ya uongozi wake Sharon Cherono ni kikundi cha miaka kumi hadi kumi na miwili kikijulikana kama sungura Kikundi kinachofuata mheshimiwa rais chini ya uongozi wake mwanadada Faith Cherono Kikundi kinachofuata miaka 14 hadi 18 wakijulikana kama Mwamba Kwa mara nyingi hawa huwa ni vijana wa shule za upili mheshimiwa rais. Vile vile kinachofunga ni kikundi cha miaka 19 hadi 26 kijulikana kama jasiri chini ya uongozi wake mwanadada Edna Kirui. Wanaofuata mheshimiwa rais ni Girl Guides Hawa ni chini ya miaka mitatu hadi sita wakijulikana kama Rainbow. Makofi kwa wana Girl Guides pamoja na Scouts tafadhali. Vile vile kikundi kinafuata ni miaka sita hadi tisa shule za msingi wakijulikana kama Brownie. Kinachofuata ni kikundi cha miaka kumi hadi 14 ikijulikana kama Girl Guides. Ranger mheshimiwa rais miaka kumi na nne hadi 18 wanapotufungia kwenye vikundi vya Girl Guides na inayofuata mheshimiwa rais ni wasichana wa St John's Ambulance ambao ni kutoka shule ya upili ya Kipsigis Girls High School vikundi vyote viwili wanapomalizia na kuondoka kiwanjani bendi ya Kabianga Boys mheshimiwa rais ili kutamatisha Gwaride hili la Maskauti Girl Guides pamoja na St John's Ambulance. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Naomba sasa niweze kurudisha kwa mkuu wa kitengo cha State Function bwana Mike Gitonga aweze kuendelea. Asante sana Afande Katana. Na wakimalizia Mheshimiwa Rais sasa Ningependa sote tuweze kutulia ili tuende kwa kipindi cha maombi. Na kwa maombi tutaongozwa na viongozi wetu wa tamaduni na pia wa kidini. Tukianza na kiongozi wa kimila mzee John Sigei, kiongozi wa Kihindu Neleshbai Gaurishanka, Imam Abu Bakar Said Ali na tukimalizia kwa maombi ya Kikristo ambaye tutaongozwa na askofu Paul Kirui. Kwa hivyo sasa sote tutulie ili tuweze kuenda kwa maombi. Ngoi 
of the nation for the day to day mashriya day celebrations to all our heroes who have dedicated their lives for our beautiful country kenya vakratunda mahakaya surya koti namaprabha nirvignam kurume deva sarva karyesu sarvada om dio sante rantarikshadgo sante प्रथिवे शांतिराप शांति ओखदया शांति वनस्पतया शांतिर्वेदेवा शांति ब्रह्म शांति सर्वगो शांति सामा शांति रे दे विश्वानि देव सदुरीता निपराशुव छद्रन तुव ओ सर्वे खा वाख्य वेदा रसो यम सर्वे खा मे वे न मे तेदा गोरसे निखिच ते शांति 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 सुशातिर्भवर्वरिष्ठ शातिर्भव अमे बिस्मिल्लाहमानीम वजीना मुझे जिमुंगु मुंगी वेहमा मुझे कुरहेमु Sifa zote njema ni za Mwenyezi Mungu Mola mlezi wa viumbe wote Tunakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutufikisha siku ya leo na tukaweza kukusanyika sehemu kama hii Tunakuomba ulibariki taifa letu liwe taifa lenye amani upendo undugu na maendeleo Ewe Mwenyezi Mungu wajalie viongozi wetu waendelee kuongoza kwa haki na usawa na uwapatie hekima katika kazi yao uwapatie nguvu na afya bora watu hudumie kwa njia inayostahiki ewe Mwenyezi Mungu mjalie rais wetu na makamu wake pamoja na baraza la mawaziri uvumilivu na ujasiri waweze kuipeleka nchi yetu katika maendeleo ya kudumu ya Allah wapatie ushujaa juu ya ushujaa waweze kukomesha ufisadi na dhulma na waeneze haki na uadhilifu ewe Mwenyezi Mungu tusamehe dhambi zetu na utupatie maisha ya raha hapa duniani na kesho akhira wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbi wa sallam amin
Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and all of us, I would like to ask that we all stand as I pray. Baba Mwenyesi Mungu, Mtakatifu, Mtakatifu Aishia Milele, ambaye anatupa viongozi na kuandaa kwa ajili ya uongozi wa taifa letu. Ninakuheshimu na ninakutolea shukrani kwa sababu ya siku ya leo ya mashujaa. Tunapokumbuka wale wote waliochitolea kupigania ya uhuru na wale wote wanaoshikilia mamlaka kuliongoza taifa letu le, ya Kenya kwa sababu sisi sote sisi sote ni wasujaa kwa sababu Mungu ulituweka katika nji yetu ili tuweze kuishi kukutumikia na kukufanyia kazi sasa Mwenyezi Mungu nasimama mbele yako nikileta rais wetu daktari Samuel, Samuel Ruto kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu utamshikilia utampa heri afya njema uweso na hekima kuliongoza taifa letu la Kenya Ninawaambia wale wote ambao wako chini yake kwamba wote watashikana mkono wanapotafakari kupanga na kuelekeza na kufanya maendeleo la taifa letu la Kenya. Ninaomba kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu wachalie afya njema kwamba Mungu watasidi kutuongoza wakiwa na hikima wewe Mwenyezi Mungu ukiwa kiongozi kwa sababu wewe bila bila wewe Mwenyezi Mungu katika maisha haya hatuwezi chochote. Tasama Mungu naweka maskari wetu wa ulinzi na wale wote wahusika walio wako nje katika taifa letu wameenda kulinda amani kwamba Mungu utawalinda kutokana na yule mwovu shetani. Utawapigania, utawashikia mkono na kwamba utaandamana na wao. Tasama Mwenyezi Mungu sasa tunaomba kwamba katika nchi yetu ya Kenya tuweze kuwa na amani. Maamani huo uweze kuendelea. Na tunaombea nchi zingine kama vile tunavyosikia kule Israeli na kwingine kwamba kumekosekana amani. Tuomba amani katika nchi yetu na all our boundaries may plenty peace and love be found in our boundaries. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and we say amen kwa heshima naomba tuweze kuketi mheshimiwa daktari william samoi ruto rais wa jamhuri ya kenya na mrijeshi mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi mheshimiwa mama wa taifa mama rachel ruto naibu wa rais mheshimiwa rigathi gashagwa mke wa naibu wa rais mheshimiwa pastor dokas rigathi Mheshimiwa wa speaker wa bunge la kitaifa na bunge la seneti, jaji mkuu na rais wa mahakama ya upeo, gavana wa jimbo la Kericho mheshimiwa wa daktari Eric Mutai na viongozi wa tabaka nyadha mbalimbali, mbali, mabalozi na maafisa wakuu wa kidiplomasia, mashujaa kutoka pembe zote za nchi yetu ya Kenya, wananchi wa Kericho na Jamhuri tupendayo Kenya, mabibi na mabwana. Mheshimiwa Rais niruhusu ni waombe mashujaa ambao wameketi upande wangu wa kulia ni waombe wasimame wale ambao wanaweza kusimama ili tuweze kuwatambua na kuwapongeza kwa sababu leo ni siku yao kwa makofi na shangwe tuwapongeze mashujaa ambao wako hapa tuwapigie makofi tafadhali wananchi Naomba waketi Mheshimiwa Rais kwa niaba ya kamati andalizi ya tamasha hii ya siku ya mashujaa Naomba unikubalie niweze kuandalia burudani fupi. Ndam, Mheshimiwa Rais, hivi sasa tunakukaribisha kwenye burudani la leo litakaloporomboshwa na vikundi mbalimbali. Kutukunjulia jamvi Mheshimiwa Rais ni mseto wa wanafunzi wachanga kutoka shule mbalimbali zikiwa ni pamoja na Highlands Primary, Kericho Primary, Fountain School, Kimugu Primary, St. Patrick Primary, Township Primary. Ngeche Rock Primary, Kericho Glorious, ACK Holy Trinity, Eagle School, 
na Kerego Primary. Wanafunzi hawa mheshimiwa rais wanaongozwa na walimu Eric Amuhaya, Faith Mbote, Hezekiah Ogira na Paul Tonui chini ya mshirikishi Janet Langat kutoka Wizara ya Elimu. Baadaye mheshimiwa rais tutakupromoshia shairi lenye mada huduma bora za afya likiletwa kwako na Kipkelion Girls High School, Tengecha Girls High School, Sosiot Girls High School na Leiten Leiten Girls High School. Mheshimiwa Rais pia utachachishiwa na densi ya kidamaduni kutoka jamii ya Kipsigis kupitia Chelilis Girls High School, Sosit Girls High School na Kapkatet Secondary School. Burudani hili pia litashuhudia mpangilio wa midundo maarufu ya Kipsigis. Usijui kama unafahamu midundo ya Kipsigis. Kuna moja inaitwa Ioni, tuko na Boyboyet, tuko na Lelo kikareke kikereni hiyo. Na tuko na Chamech kisha tuko na kitatiat zote hizi zitakuwa zinaondoshwa na Kipsigis Girls pamoja na Kericho High School bila kusahau KMTC Nairobi pamoja na Bomet Campuses. Kweli kabisa burudani hili pia mheshimiwa rais aliweze kukamilika bila wasanii maarufu kutoka eneo hili kama kina nani chipukizi. Tuko na Jospat Kipkirui, tuko na Philip Yegon, Naswa Melodies na Shato Sisters. Watoto jukwani leni. Tapokea Vijana wazee kina mama Tunaweza tukiungana Kura usawa na ustawi Mungu baba tatujalia So pulo pulo Njooni wazalendo sote tuimbe So pulo pulo Njooni wazalendo sote tuimbe Harambe Tutafika kilele Harambe Na Kenya tutaishi milele Harambe Pamoja tutafika kilele Harambe Na Kenya tutaishi milele Tuwashangilie wanaposema I love my country Kenya wakiwa wamechora ramani ya nchi yetu. Mama, what do you want to see, Mama? Yeah, no. 
Tuwajivunia mashujaa wetu. Tuwapongeze kwa makosi. Wanasema afya bora maisha bora tuwashangilie kwa makofi ama kweli ni afya nyumbani Tuwashangilie watoto kwa makofi tafadhali. Wanapoondoka pale makofi makofi.
hicho ni kionjo ukijisikia kusimama ucheze nao unakaribishwa twende dj Ya kwanza, Universal Care 
number one. Ya pili, tujisajili. Ya tatu. Mm. Wewe ni shuja. Hasha. Hasha. Apia. Nyuma. Ni. Tabuta nyue.
Wapi makofi na vigele gele wananchi? Asante ni sana wasani wetu tu washangilie wanapondoka. Asante sana kwa kweli ni afya nyumbani kama ilivyo kauli ya mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Shukran sana DJ. Asante sana. Eh, Mheshimiwa Rais tunahitimisha burudani eh, tafadhali chipukizi hatutaweza kukuruhusu kuimba wimbo wako kwa leo. Hakuna shida manake hata nilikuwa sijaumaliza. Mheshimiwa Rais kwa onyesho hilo ndipo tunakunja jamvi la tamasha yetu ya burudani leo tunapo icha mashujaa wetu tunashukuru wote waliopanga na wote walioshiriki. Kwa sasa Mheshimiwa Rais kwa kumbushe ya kwamba kauli mbiu ni afya nyumbani. Maadimisho ya sherehe ya mashujaa leo ni afya nyumbani. Na sasa tungetaka kuwaruhusu um, uh, wananizi wa kujitolea ili waweze kuingia CHPs, the Community Health Promoters waweze kuja hapa katikati ili waweze kuendelea na hafta hii. Ahadi ya wahudumu ambaye watakapewa. Kwa hivyo tuwaruhusu tafadhali waingie waje katikati ya uwanja 
na kwa sasa nitamwalika pia waziri wa afya ajitayarishe ili aweze kuwaongoza kwa ahadi ya wahudumu wa afya. Tuwapigie makofi pia hawa ni mashujaa ambao wamejitolea kwa muda mrefu lakini kutoka leo mambo yabadilika. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali wakija. And now we welcome the community health workers which is part of the universal health coverage that is going to be launched by His Excellency, the President of this great nation, after the uh, signing of the bills yesterday, which are now law. We would now like to call upon the CS for Health, Mweshimiwa Nakumicha, aje awaungose kwa ahadi ya kujitolea. Karibu Mweshimiwa. Basi wahudumu tunaomba ya kwamba mtarudia hii ahadi ambayo mnajitolea leo mkifuata waziri atakayewaongoza. Bado tunangojea waingie wakiingia basi tutaendelea lakini bado wanaendelea kuingia basi tukiwashukuru tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. Tuwapigie ma makofi hawa ni washujaa pia mashujaa ambaye ni wahudumu wa kujitolea lakini mambo yabadilika. Na sasa nitamwalika waziri wa afya Madam Susan Nakumicha ili awaongoze kwa ahadi. Mheshimiwa Rais, sasa ni wakati wetu wa hudumu wa afya nyumbani kutoa ahadi ya huduma kwa afya nyumbani. Nitawaomba nyinyi wote wa hudumu wa afya nyumbani murudie mambo haya nyumba, nyuma yangu sisi wa hudumu wa afya nyumbani tunaahidi kutumikia jamii zetu kwa mioyo thabiti mikono wazi ujuzi na kwa kujitolea lengo letu ni kuelimisha kuwawezesha na kusaidia jamii zetu kukuza afya kuzuia magonjwa na kuwaelekeza kwenye huduma za afya tunakubali jukumu hili tukufu na tuko tayari kutumikia jamii zote Afya yetu afya yetu Jukumu letu ndio ndio Asanteni sana Haya basi tuwapigie makofi na sasa tukipeperusha bendera tutawaomba warudi mahali walikuwa uh, pole pole tu tukiwaelekeza Hebu tuwapigie makofi wananchi tafadhali Na kwa sasa wakiondoka pia kuna lori ambazo zitakazoingia ikiwa ishara ya kwamba sasa dawa pia zitapatikana na tutamuomba rais ataremka hivi karibuni ili yaweze ku flag off ikiwa kama uzinduzi wa universal health coverage kwa hivyo sasa let's have the trucks to come in and we'll kindly request your excellency if you may with your permission to kindly come with uh, uh, and flag them off together with His Excellency, the Deputy President, uh, just to witness as we flag off the trucks uh, that are going to be carrying the medicine and having all counties. We believe by now all counties have received the kits which are now adorned with the, CH with the CHPs, the Community Health Promoters. Nandio hizo lori zinazokuja na sasa tukimkaribisha mweshimiwa rais ambaya takuja kuzizindua na pia just to flag them off as we now have this uh, event proceeding tukiwakumbusha kwamba kauli mbiu ni afya nyumbani hebu sote tuseme afya nyumbani 
Turudie sote afya nyumbani. Afya nyumbani. We now have these trucks that have the medicine and each truck is representing a region but every county is represented. Wapi makofi ya rais? As he continues to flag them off. Come on, let's uh, tumpongeze kwa makofi rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Aya basi ndio hiyo track ya pili representing Nairobi County 047 because of time we only have eight trucks representing the eight regions Massabit County Tana River County representing the coast coastal province we have Bungoma County representing western Alafu tuko na Homa Bay County representing Nyanza. Pia tuko na Wajir County representing, representing the Northern. Basi tuko Northeastern. Tuko na ingine moja. Na hiyo ni ya Nyandarwa County representing central asanteni sana thank you so much your excellency tunashukuru na kwa heshima tutaomba uweze kurudi The government has onboarded 100,000 community health promoters known as CHPs in the country and will continue with Afia Nyumbani. Naomba sote tuweze kuketi. Mwishmiwa Rais kwa heshma, sasa naomba ni ruhusu ni mwalike gavana wa eneo gatuzi la kericho a uh, tukaribishe kwa kifupi kisha amwalike naibu wa rais lakini kabla tufanye hivyo tungependa pia kufungulia na elezo ya kwamba kuna wananchi wengi sana wamejaa pale nje kwa hivyo gavana ni wewe radhi ningependa kwanza tuwaruhusu wananchi waweze kuingia ili waweze pia kuhudhuria uh, tukiendelea kwa hivyo tafadhali tuwaruhusu wananchi waweze kuingia kabla ni mwalike gavana aweze kutukaribisha hapa Kericho na kama wananchi wanaingia hebu tuweze kutizama kwa sauti ya mwananchi tukiwaruhusu wananchi kuingia hebu tuweze kuweka kwa sauti ya mwananchi asanteni simama wa Kenya wote simama sauti ya mwananchi Simama wewe Tumefanya ikazi kwa muda mrefu hatukua tunalipwa lakini kwa sasa tunalipwa. Tunafurahi. Hatukua tumepata tunapata kitu hata nini. So i, amefanya vizuri sana kusema tutapata kitu. Hata si kulipwa. Tukipata ini token tutashukuru. Hata sisi hatukua tunajua kama hii watu walikuwa wanajitolea. Tukua tunafikiri walikuwa wanalipwa na serikali. Kulingana na juhudi ya rais hakika hao watu watapata nguvu na watu watakuwa na ile msisimiko ya kufanya kazi zaidi. Sisi tulikuwa tumevolunteer kwa muda mrefu sana, lakini sijawahi kuona mtu akitaja mambo ya service. Tumekaa kwa miaka mingi bila bila stipend. Na sasa wakati huu kumetoka stipend. Tunasema karibu na karibu kericho. Wakati wa mashujadi tunataka useme kitu ala nono kuliko ya stipend. Rais wetu ametuempower, ametupatia toolkit, tutakuwa tukitumia huko mashinani. Tungependa asiwachie hapa aendelee kutufuatilia sana achiwe tunafanya kazi gani mbeleni hatukua nayo hiyo kit na hizo vitu alituletea tumefurahia tunashukuru serikali sana na Mungu awabariki tena azidishie na zaidi ya yote waendelee kutukumbuka hata na vifaa zaidi 
inch wapate knowledge kuhusu maneno ya preventive tunaona kwamba tutatumia pesa mingi kununua dawa tunaposherekea siku kuu ya mashujaa ningependa kuambia ma CHV wote waendelee na hiyo kazi mzuri wanafanya hasa kusaidia wamama na hata watu wa kijiji hasa kwa usafi na kukaa katika ari yenye nafaa kama mwananchi wa kawaida ile kitu ambayo ningependa kwanza ningeshukuru serikali kwa mkondo ambayo wanachukua saa hizi kusuia ni mzuri kuliko kuponya if they are mashujaa of the year ex community health promoter you know we are not not volunteers we are promoters heko to our president wherever you are we say we salute you naomba waingie kwa utaratibu kwa utaratibu tafadhali na pia tuweze kuweka kitu kingine kwa runinga wanaendelea kuingia bado and at this point allow me to also recognize his excellency tete antonio the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Angola, who is representing His Excellency the President, João Manuel Lourenco, President of the Republic of Angola. Together with his delegation, we recognize you and appreciate that you've honored us with your presence. Studio, naomba tuweke pia kitu kingine kwa runinga. Wananchi wanaendelea kuingia. Wananchi ni waombe tuingie tu kwa utaratibu. Sote tutaruhusi watu ingie. Muraguri. Nilianza hii kazi kutoka mwaka wa 2003. E, miaka miaka hiyo 20 nimefanya hiyo kazi kwangu na furahia. Kwa sababu naifanya na roho yangu yote. Hii exercise inafanya registration e, naona ni muhimu kwa sababu serikali yetu tajua ni watu wangapi wako na disability, wapi wako na diabetes, ni wangapi wako na hypertension ni watoto wangapi wamezaliwa ni wakato ni wa wazee wangapi wako over 70 years hiyo statistics itasaidia serikali kwa chochote inataka kukufanyia community kutoka hiyo miaka tumefanya hii kazi ya community health promoters tulikuwa tunaandika kwa mikono unaandika saa ingine katazi inapotea unakibia kwa public health unamwitisha ingine unakuja unajaza sasa unakuja unalipiti hiyo information ndio umpelekee kupeleka kwake hata kwake inaweza potea sasa hii technology chochote umeweka hapa haitapotea so this is very safe kwa kwa kwetu na kwa serikali unaona information iko hapa PSC yako na yake lakini kwa izimu yangu hakuna mtu anaweza ingia sababu nikipa submit na submit kwa PSC akitaka kujua ili yangu ni watu wangapi wako na disability anaenda kwa system hata niuliza akitaka kujua ni watoto wangapi wamezaliwa anaenda kwa system hata president mwenyewe akitaka kujua mambo yote atakuja hapa Akiklik tu atapata information yote. Na tushukuru serikali kwa kutupatia hii. Tumechoka na kuandika. Sasa kutupatia hii inaoneshana sasa tumeenda digital sisi wote. Afya yako, jukumu langu, mimi ni shujaa. Asanteni sana wananchi kwa kuingia kwa utaratibu na sasa wa rais naomba uniruhusu Niweze kumwalika gavana wa eneo Gatuzi la Kericho atayetukaribisha na a, akimaliza amwalike naibu wa rais. Tumpigie makofi gavana Dr. Eric Mutai. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto. Her Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto. His Excellency the Deputy President, His Excellency Rigathi, Her Excellency Rigathi Kashakwa, uh, Rigathi Dorgas, the speakers of the two houses, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a pleasure this morning to welcome all of us to Kericho County. Indeed, if there is one single honor you have demonstrated to the people of Kericho, is your choice to have this state event in Kericho County. And on behalf of the great people of Kericho, we wish to say thank you. Na kwa niaba yao, tunasema asante sana. Secondly, Your Excellency, we wish also to indicate that as we celebrate this very important occasion, as the county government of Kericho, 
we have 1,600 community health promoters. With the program you have put in place, we are committed as counties to ensure that we commit 50% in our budget to match what the national government is providing us so that we are able to keep stipend to the community health promoters. Secondly, Your Excellency, as Kericho County, we want to say thank you because of the great infrastructural development that has taken place in our county. Just to mention the other day, we were able to launch the ICU at Capcated, which was equipped by your government. We were also able to launch our basic oncology center in Kericho to handle matters cancer through the support again from your government. And we want to say thank you for the same. We also want to appreciate the great infrastructural work that has taken place in Kericho town. And today, when we look at Kericho, we see a complete different town altogether. Out of that, Your Excellency, we commit as a county to move with your agenda of expanding Kericho town. I know that we have you have marked 1,000 acres for expansion, and already we are in the process of negotiating with the squatters so that Your Excellency will be able to get a new town of Kerichum. We also look forward, Your Excellency, towards the completion of the airport. Today, I am a proud governor on behalf of this great hustlers of Kerichum, that you are able also to land at Kerenga Stadia which is historical in itself and will remain in our hearts. As Kenyans would say, today we can sleep with our shoes tonight because we never imagine we can have landing in the airspace around. Our request is for station towards completion on the same. Lastly, Your Excellency, it towards achieving the health care and towards accessible health care, already we have upgraded level five, level four to level five. Our ask, and I know you know these things, Your Excellency, because these things you initiated when you were minister and when you were deputy president. And this includes the constructions of the proposed level six for the South Rift, which I know is your agenda. This also includes the completion of Londiani Masaida Dam, and this also includes the poster dam, which I know in your agenda, and I don't want to elaborate on that because it is within your agenda and because you know this county, and as a father of this nation, you are familiar with the desires of our hearts in this region. Lastly, we want to say thank you for this stadium. Today we have a very beautiful stadium, and as a county, we are saying thank you. Out of this, again, Your Excellency, we invite your grace to also consider what you began and what you have always dreamed for, the completion and the construction of Cap Catet Stadia, which is an historical ground for us. Basically, Kericho is a home of heroes, as I conclude. The first athlete to conquer the track is none other than Kiblimo Rugut, who hails from this county and the son of this county. Your choice to celebrate the universal health coverage is well informed because the word Kericho, when you remove this, uh, when you have the prefix of it, Kerich. Kerich means Kerichek, which means medicine in our language. And so your choice of Kerich is well informed because it's a county of medicine. With those few remarks, Your Excellency, let me take this humble opportunity to welcome His Excellency, the Deputy President, Rigadi Kashakwa, to come and address the people who are here today. Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Rachel Ruto, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Honorable Msadia Mudavadi, the Foreign Affairs Minister from the Republic of Angola, Abbasinda Tete Antonio, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Moses Wetangula, the Speaker of the Senate, Amazon Jeff Akingi, 
Your Ladyship, the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Lady Chief Justice Martha Kome, our host governor, Eric Mutai, Excellencies Governors Present, Excellencies Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, all other leaders, na wananchi wa kericho wa mjambu, wa mjambu tena. God is good, and all the time, Salimia ni kuhewa bwana yesu wa sifiwe, bwana yesu wa sifiwe tena. Your Excellency, I will seek your indulgence if you allow me before I welcome you to address the nation with tremendous respect to request our visitor, Ambassador Antonio Tete from the Republic of Angola to come and greet the people of Kenya and say a few words. Abbasinda. I'll try to speak the small swahili I just learned. Ndugu na dada wa Kenya, Amjambo. And happy Mashuta Day to everyone. Sir President, First Lady, Vice President, Prime Minister, Ministers, Speaker of the Speakers of the two houses. Dear colleagues here present, my brothers and sisters, uh, on behalf of President Juan Lorenzo, I would first like to convey his apologies. He would have loved to be here, but for um, foreseen reasons, he couldn't make it to Kericho. But he sent you a very warm greeting, uh, thanking again for the warm reception we always have been granted in whenever we come to Kenya. Mr. President, it is very emotional for the Angolan people to be here, especially on a such day of uh, Heroes Day. Because those are the same heroes who also are not only Kenyan heroes, but they are also African heroes and Angolan heroes. Many maybe would remember how the struggle for independence of Angola uh, benefited from the revolution of Kenya. Uh, we think of uh, the Mau Mau and the others. And uh, you may remember that uh, under the leadership of uh, President Jomo Kenyatta, the three Angolan liberation movements came to Mombasa and lastly, met on June 21st, 1975 in Nakuru, where an agreement was signed, which was very significant to lead Angola to the independence on, in November the same year. So we will never have enough words to thank the Kenyan people for contributing not only to our freedom, but also for consolidating, helping the Angolan people to consolidate our independence. Today, Mr. President, the struggles, the nature of the struggles are over. We have the struggle for development. We have the struggle for peaceful environment. We have the struggle for peace in our countries and in our region. And here again, Kenya has been at the front, front line and collaborating in, with Angola in many of those areas. Mr. President, I think we are starting a new dawn in the relationship between Angola and Kenya. Just imagine, I just spoke about 1975, but we are having the very first official visit of an Angolan president to Kenya. And we held yesterday with my brother, the minister for, prime minister and minister for foreign affairs, the very first joint commission 
to look at the areas of cooperation. Because until, until we make it to, to build our continent together, we, build it, we, we fly together or we sink together. But we didn't choose to sink, so we are going definitely to fly higher and higher. Mr. President, thank you again for giving us the opportunity to greet our, our sisters and brothers from Kenya and thanking you all for associating to this very important day, which the same day we celebrate in Angola on 17 September, the Heroes Day. So we are very, very honored to be, to be here. We all hope, we wish you a fair bora to the everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abbasinda, Your Excellency. The 60th Machuja Day is one of the most important occasions in our history. We celebrate the day from Kericho County, one of the most active and colonial hotspots in the country, whose people were stripped of their right to land. We join the people of this county and other Kenyans in celebrating the gallant men and women who put their lives on the line to attain our freedom and restore our dignity. Your Excellency, we celebrate these men and women because they believed in the power of Africans in defining their destiny in social economic transformation. Kiongozi wetu leo ni siku yako, mimi nilikuwa hapa siku ya jumatatu na nikapata nafasi ya kuongea na watu ya kiricho. Na kwa sababu wali kuwa ngambo, mimi diyo nilikuwa na wika hapa, sasa wea huko, mimi sina sauti. Na kwa hivyo ni chukue nafasi hii kwa sababu nimefika hapa kusema ya rais wetu. Ulipoamua ya kwamba mashujaa de italetu wa hapa kiricho. Mimi nilifurai sana. Na rais wewe na hii watu wa kiricho wanajua ni kwa nini. Na niseme watu ya kiricho hatu tachoka. Rais na mimi na timu yetu. Kusema santi kwa maombi yenu. Na vile mulitunga mkono. Tukapata nafasi ya ungozi. Watu ya kiricho wa santeni sana. Pia kabla ni mwalike rais. Pia nipongeze watu ya kiricho kwa sababu mulitupatia kiongozi chupavu leader of the majority in the Senate, the Honorable Aaron Cheriot, ambaye anatusaidia pada na rais na hata zile sheria. Rais ameithinisha jana, yeye na, wat, na viongozi wa Senate walichangia kiwango kikubwa. Kwa hivyo lazima tuseme asanti kwa huo kiongozi mulitupatia. Bila kuongea mengi, ningeulisa zi nyote musmame, munisaidie kwa shangwe na vigelegele kumukaribisha rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Mr. President, you are most welcome to address the nation. Karibu. Asante sana mweshmiwa Deputy President. Tafadhali mnaweza keti chini. Kericho hamjambu. Our guest, my friend Tete Antonio, Minister for Foreign Affairs, who is representing my brother, the President of Angola, who is in Kenya as we talk. And he will be having a state visit tomorrow. Fellow leaders, The great people of Kericho, distinguished Kenyans, members of the diplomatic corps, guests, ladies and gentlemen, Watuwa Kericho, Hamjambo Tena. Kericho Hamjambo. Kericho Jamgei. Omune. Kericho Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. 
Ebu mnisalimie hewani nione hivi watu wa kericho. Asante sana. Mashuja day is a celebration of the power of individuals to change the course of history and the destiny of a nation. It is a reminder that nations are driven forward and changed by individuals, ordinary men and women who believe they can make a difference and who believe they can change the status quo. The status quo in 1963 was a colonial state, the denial of basic freedoms and dignity. Deep inside many individuals then, they believed change was necessary and they took action. Individual belief resulted in action and ultimate progress that made us the people we are today, an independent, democratic, progressive nation. Today, the status quo is, is a hunger for socioeconomic transformation, one that most of us feel is long overdue, and we are rightfully so. The need for heroism is, an urge, is as urgent as it was in pre-independent Kenya. The power of individual action is still as powerful today as it was then. Our heroes today are on the farm, the markets, in factories, in offices, in construction sites, and in many other places. Our heroes are using their creativity to create content and shape culture. They are playing on fields, running on tracks, and working across many other fields. Every day, when we do our best, when we deploy our diligence, intellect, passion, creativity, hard work, and the sense of purpose, every day that we believe we can make a difference, we are changing our country. This is our call to Ushuja, to the best of us, to, to be the best of us every day and to move our nation forward. This is why we are focused on empowering Kenyans to be at their best on diverse fields by democratizing and innovating government services to ensure that we give as many Kenyans as possible, the opportunity to be their best so that they can move our country, our nation forward into a destiny that we all share as a people. The Constitution guarantees Kenyans the right to the highest standards of health. Since independence, successive governments have made efforts in guaranteeing access to quality and affordable health care for Kenyans, but with limited success. There have been several attempts and efforts to achieve universal health coverage. One in, 20, in 2003, in 2013, and in 2018. However, these efforts were met with little success. It is for this reason that the government of Kenya identified healthcare delivery as one of the core pillars of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. In the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, we made several commitments towards the delivery of universal health coverage. These include the provision of a fully public financed primary health care, the installation of a digital health management information system, and 
the setting up of a fund for improving healthcare facilities across Kenya. Other commitments were the setting up of an emergency medical treatment fund, the establishment of a national insurance fund that covers all Kenyans, and the availability of medical staff who would deliver on this great universal health coverage that has been in the works for a long time. The government has instituted a paradigm shift to preventive and promotive health rather than where we've been at curative health. This approach also makes economic sense. Community health reports state that for every one shilling invested in community health, nine shillings and 40 cents are realized in economic and social gains in our society. In our plan, delivery of primary health services at community level will start with community health promoters. And we are very proud that they are represented in large numbers today in this very important Mashuja Day. <clears throat> the work of the promoters will include basic preventive and promotive health, health education, basic first aid for the treatment of minor injuries and ailments at household level, and referral for facility-based healthcare. Each community health promoter is allocated 100 homes within their neighborhoods, and this will happen countrywide. Considering the pivotal role played by community health in attainment of universal health coverage, the long-term financial viability and sustainability of community health is contingent on enhanced domestic resources for health. The national government is working closely with our county governments to strengthen the delivery of community health services through the payment of stipends for the 100,000 community health promoters. This will be done on a margin basis, 50% contributed by the national government and 50% contributed by the county governments. The national government has already allocated Kenya shillings 3 billion annually for payment of these stipends and it is my belief that counties will match up this fund so that we can enable these great heroes of our time to help us on the delivery of community health at the household level. It is worth noting that as of today, over one million households in 10 counties have been visited already by community health promoters, overt services, and their data captured in the Afia Nyumbani dashboard. And this is a significant major achievement as this dashboard is not only available to the Ministry of Health, it is also available in my office. We also agreed to provide the 100,000 community health promoters with kits which contain basic equipment for household health screening, medicines and supplies used for service provision at the household level. And as you can see today, every community health promoter here present, each one of them has a health promoter's kit. And that is the case with 100,000 community promoters everywhere in the Republic of Kenya. Quality community health data is essential for the planning, resource allocation, and monitoring of progress towards universal health coverage. 
The government is committed to delivering on the digital health agenda, starting from the community level. The community, the electronic community health information system, which is live and being used by the promoters across the country, is a simple and user-friendly mobile health device being used and its application will be used to collect real-time, accurate household data. It will also initiate planning for health service delivery and provide linkage to health facilities. Along the CHP kit, the government has provided additionally 110,000 smartphones for use by the promoters and community health assistants. The shift from curative to preventive health will further be strengthened by the promotive services provided by community health promoters at the household units and integration of preventive services at the primary health care level. These services will include screening for hypertension, diabetes, and high conditions, offer the necessary health education on water and sanitation, nutrition, and provide community rehabilitation services, among others. These services will be provided through multidisciplinary teams that will be established at the level of the primary care networks. To strengthen the legal basis for health financing, health service provision and achievement of UHC, four new health laws, which I signed into law yesterday, have been enacted. These are the Community Health Insurance Act 2023, Primary Health Care Act 2023, Facility Improvement Act 2023, and Digital Health Act 2023. Health insurance coverage in Kenya is generally low at about 26%, with those at the bottom of the economic pyramid having the least coverage at only 5%. Many Kenyans incur catastrophic expenditure from out-of-pocket health care payments, while many more do not seek care at all when they fall ill because they simply cannot afford it. Over the last decade, several measures have been put in place to enhance the capacity of the National Hospital Insurance Fund to effectively deliver on its mandate. While these reforms and the initiatives therein have yielded significant progress, several gains and several gaps remain. Recent analysis show that, among others, the NHIF operates as a passive rather than a strategic purchaser of health care. It is plagued by inefficiency and governance challenges and is potentially, unless addressed, financially unsustainable. It is against this backdrop that the government proposes a paradigm shift in the provision of social health insurance in the new Social Health Insurance Act 2023 that provides for formation of a social health authority which will repeal the current National Hospital Insurance Fund Act 1998. In our plan, I promise a fully publicly financed primary health care system, an emergency care fund, and a health insurance fund that will cover all Kenyans. This promise is delivered through the enactment of the new Social Health Insurance Act, which, among others, establishes the publicly financed primary health care fund a fully publicly financed chronic 
and emergency and critical illness fund and the social health insurance fund and access to health care from now henceforth will no longer be based on ability to pay. It will be based on the health needs of every Kenyan. We are implementing a per household payment system where a flat rate applies to everyone regardless of their income. Consider this, for example. Previously, an individual earning 10,000 had to, had to pay Kenya shillings 500 for NHIF, a hefty 5% of their earnings. On the other hand, those with a salary of 100,000 or more contributed 1,700, a mere 1.7% 1 of their income. Astonishingly, even someone with monthly income of Kenya shillings 1 million, like William Ruto, the president, paid the same amount of 1,700, which translates to a paltry 0.17% of their substantial earnings. This bizarre setup meant that low-income hunters, mamambogas, and border borders were effectively subsidizing high-income earners like myself. The Social Insurance Fund corrects this anomaly and makes sure that every citizen pays for health a percentage of their income, an equal percentage of their income, so that we can equalize the fortunes of every citizen with respect to access to health. The Social Health Insurance Fund also signifies a shift to increased use of domestic resources for health financing and a sustainable approach, especially at a time when resources from donors and development partners are dwindling. The healthcare system in Kenya is largely focused on curative services at the expense of preventive and promotive services. This has occasioned inequity in financing, which has disadvantaged primary healthcare uptake and promotion. The government's mission is to build a progressive, responsive, unsustainable healthcare system for accelerated attainment of the highest standard of health for all Kenyans. The funds allocated to public health facilities have substantially reduced over, over the years as they are directed to the county revenue fund and are rarely reinvested into the facilities. The lack of autonomy in public health facility management and financial control has led to increasing fragmentation, poor service delivery, deteriorating health outcomes, reduced efficiency, access, equity, financial protection, and also insignificant transparency and accountability. The Facility Improvement Financing Act corrects this situation and aims to structure the process and guide the counties on how to provide for retention, management, and use of revenue derived from health-related services rendered at public health facilities. The Act seeks to ensure a unified approach for health facility finance and management autonomy where public health facilities are able to retain their funds and have autonomy to operate their facilities based on their priorities. This will improve availability of resources at the facility to provide adequate and equitable quality health services, increase efficiency, and thus improve health outcomes for all Kenyans. 
Kenya has made significant strides towards digital transformation with many sectors leveraging on technology to enhance implementation of digital products and services. The health sector has made steady progress in digital technology transformation through implementation of digital solutions to manage and share and use data. However, the adoption of technology has been uncoordinated and characterized by fragmented implementation with health sector actors not adhering to basic digital health standards, guidelines, recommendations, and digital development principles. These technologies have affected low health data, how, low, how health data is managed, resulting in multiple systems that have limited ability to exchange data. The Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto identifies digitization as a pillar for the health sector to achieve universal health coverage. Accordingly, the Digital Health Act provides the legal basis for the development of a comprehensive and integrated health information system. These systems will enable end-to-end -end visibility of health processes and seamless sharing and portability of information that will enhance health service delivery and improve efficient use of resources. The enactment and implementation of the Act and the digitization agenda will deliver on the promise to integrate ICT to enhance telemedicine and health management information systems. Apart from the four laws, the Ministry of Health has put in place various policies and strategies to actualize strengthening of local manufacturing of health products and technologies to have at least 50% of medicines on the Kenya Essential Medical List produced locally ensuring procurement mechanisms guarantee value for money and provide advantage of economies of scale. Our mission is clear, to build a healthcare sector that is a shining example to the world with healthcare workers in the right numbers who are motivated, well supported and inspired to deliver their best together we will ensure that every Kenyan has access to quality health services when they need it, regardless of their background or financial circumstances. I acknowledge the Ministry of Health, Safaricom, the World Health Organization, UNICEF, UN Program on HIV AIDS, and United Nations Population Fund, the Danish International Development Agency, the United States government, the World Bank, Children Investment Fund Foundation, academic model providing access to healthcare, Medic Mobile, US President's Emergency for AIDS Relief, and AMREF Kenya, among others, for their immense support. I request that we clap for these great partners of our healthcare delivery system. Kenyans have deliberately rejected ideas and programs that limit our productivity, waste our resources, and delay our takeoff. This is why our focus on effectively lowering the cost of living is based on increased agricultural productivity and expanding land and other resources for production. We have rolled out an agricultural support program that has provided farmers with access to fertilizer, affordable credit, and extension services. By end of July, we had distributed 3.5 million bags of region-specific crop fertilizers in 41 counties to registered farmers, working with county governments for last mile 
delivery. For the first time in Kenya, fertilizer was distributed on the basis of acreage and the crops that farmers produce via a digital e-voucher platform. The results of this program are evident across Kenya. We have placed over 200,000 acres under cultivation, which is more than last year. We are looking forward to a bountiful 44 million bags from the long rain season and 61 million bags overall for both seasons, marking an impressive increase of over 40% in relation to last year. <clears throat> Fertilizer su support for the short rains crop is now available at National Cereals and Produce Board depots for regions that planned in this season, including central Kenya, eastern and western parts of the country. I urge all unregistered farmers to use this opportunity to register so that they can benefit from the support of fertilizer for all their crops, whether it is tea, coffee, sugarcane, macadamia, avocados, and all the other crops that are engaged with our farmers. To reduce our national edible oil import bill, which currently stands at $1 billion annually, the government is supporting sunflower cultivation by distributing 600 metric tons of seed to farmers in partnership with counties in eastern and western Nyanza regions during these short rains. It is important that we are working with counties on other oil crops to deliberately reduce our import bill on oil and edible oil requirements for our country. When we came into office in September last year, only 320 government services were available online. Today, there are more than 13,000 services, and we expect to onboard all services by the end of this year. This has increased. Efficiency. This has increased efficiency in service delivery, revenue collection, and enhanced accountability of government services and revenues. The government is currently loading out the last mile 100 kilometer of fiber optic infrastructure throughout the country to improve health facilities, improve schools, judiciary offices in flat-flung areas, and other public institutions. We are also concurrently setting up 25,000 Wi-Fi hotspots targeting fresh produce markets, bus parks, and other public spaces. We are also working with members of parliament in the setup of 1,450 ICT hubs in every ward in Kenya, and I am happy that the National Assembly has aligned the National Government Constituency Development Fund Act to actualize this strategic intent. Our goal is to spur e-commerce, the creative arts, and the digital economy, the frontier of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. We continue to make significant progress in our education sector. Immediately after assuming office last year, we ended months of uncertainty by resolving that junior schools be domiciled in our primary school setup. We have reduced the teacher shortage by hiring more teachers. In last year, in the last one year, the Teacher Service Commission has recruited 56,000 teachers, which is half of the required number 
or half of the shortage that we have. This is the highest recruitment in the history of the commission in one year and the largest such exercise in Kenya's history. We intend to close the gap on teacher shortage in the coming two years. Further, in keeping with government's policy to equip Kenyan youth with practical skills and competencies, we are working with our Tibets to ensure that another 2,000 Tibet College tutors are hired to support our Tibet education that has increased from 90,000 eight years ago to 350,000 currently. I am also happy to note that we have concluded with the government of China the supply of equipment for another 70 technical training colleges in Kenya that will ensure that more young people have access to gadgets and tools that will improve their acquisition of knowledge and skills to be able to be job ready as we march forward into the future. In a transformative shift, we unveiled a new funding model for higher education and technical and vocational training that guarantees needy students free college studies. The funding comprises government scholarship, government loans and bursaries, and household support. Through this model, we have raised the funding per student to by 40% and we have now eliminated the tragic situation of many of our universities that were steeped in huge debts because of underfunding that had become the norm. Housing is a revolutionary agenda that will have an extensive impact across the economy at scale the affordable housing program will create jobs for our young people, expand the manufacturing of construction products and materials, and enhance economic activity across many sectors. The construction of 46,792 units is already underway, and another 40,000 units are ready to commence construction in the next few days. Architects, engineers, quantity surveyors, masons, electricians, plumbers, transporters, steel factory workers, cement factory workers, and hardware merchants will be engaged in this transformative construction housing enterprise to construct 200,000 housing units annually. Construction of one unit, for the record, creates between three and five jobs directly and five to eight jobs indirectly. More jobs will be created with the formalization of the Juakali clusters that will provide products such as doors, windows, and hinges for this program. I stand before the people of Kenya to express my pride and admiration for all Kenyans who have risen up to the challenge of the moment, seized opportunities that came up as we deliver our commitments and implemented the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. These enterprising ethos, the hustling spirit, and the motivation to do your part in making this country move forward is all and it is heroic. Therefore, let us dedicate ourselves to nation-building endeavors, assured that as long as we are implementing the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, your government 
stands with you and will walk the road of growth and development with every Kenyan until we accomplish our purpose and fulfill our mission. Wacha niseme hivi kwa Kiswahili. Leo tumetumia Mashujaa Day ya mwaka huu kwa jambo la muhimu sana ambayo inahusu wa Kenya wote. Jambo la afya. Vile nimewaeleza tumekuwa tukitafuta mbinu jinsi na namna ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba afya inamfikia kila mkenya na afya isiwafikie wale wako na uwezo peke yao lakini ifikie kila mkenya kwa sababu maisha ya kila mkenya ni ya muhimu kwa wakenya wote na ndio tumesema tunabadilisha sheria jana niliweka sahihi sheria nne mpya ambayo itatumika kuendesha mambo ya afya ambayo itafikia wa Kenya wote katika taifa letu la Kenya tunaanza na hawa community health promoters hawa mashujaa wamekuwa wakifanya kazi ya afya kama volunteers kwa miaka nyingi na ndio tumesema tukienda mbele kwa sababu hawa community health promoters wamefanya kazi ya muhimu sasa tutawapatia vifaa jambo la pili tutahakikisha ya kwamba watapata malipo kwa kazi mzuri wanayofanya kwa afya katika taifa letu la Kenya na jambo la pili sheria mpya ambayo tumetengeneza itaturuhusu na itatupatia nafasi sote kama wa Kenya kuchangia kwa mambo ya afya. Nataka niwaeleze ndugu wa Kenya mambo matatu ya muhimu kwa hii mfumo mpya ya afya ambayo tunazundua leo. Ya kwanza pale katika level 1, 2 and 3 dispensary na health center kila mkenya atapatiwa matibabu bila malipo yoyote na gharama ya matibabu katika hapo katika level 1 2 and 3 gharama yake italipiwa na serikali ya Kenya kupitia kwa ile fund ya primary health jambo la pili pale katika dispensary yako ya nyumbani na katika health center yako ya nyumbani sasa wa Kenya watajumuishwa katika usimamizi wa ile facility nyinyi katika kijiji yenu katika mtaa wenu nyinyi mtakuwa na kamati ya kushughulikia mambo ya afya katika dispensary yenu katika health center yenu ndio kama hakuna dawa nyinyi wenyewe mtashughulika mjue na mtupatie habari ya kwamba hakuna dawa katika hii hospitali ndio wa Kenya waweze kupata nafasi ya kupata afya katika mahali karibu pale nyumbani kwa sasa wa Kenya wengi wanaenda kwenye hospitali yenye iko mbali kwa sababu ile dispensary iko hapo karibu haina dawa haina wauguzi na haina service na ndio tunasema hivi Sheria yetu ya pili ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila facility, kila hospitali, kila dispensary, kila health center watakuwa na pesa zao na pesa ya facility yenu haitapelekwa katika facility ingine na haitapelekwa kufanya kazi ingine yoyote itatumika katika hiyo facility yenu ili pesa ambayo imewekwa katika budget ya facility yenu ya nyumbani nyinyi wenyewe kama wananchi mukisimamia na wauguzi na tumesema ya kwamba wananchi wenyewe wahuzishwe 
viongozi wa kanisa wahusishwe viongozi wa serikali katika eh, kiwango hiyo wahusishwe na development partners pia watakuwa pale na hata watu wa civil society wakue pale ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba hakuna wizi tena ya madawa katika mahospitali zetu katika dispensary zetu na katika health centers zetu vile vile wananchi wengi wakipata ajali wakipata hali ya dharura wakienda hospitali wanaambiwa wewe huna card wewe huna uwezo wa kulipa sasa emergency chronic illness na ajali zote kila mwananchi atakubaliwa kutibiwa katika kila hospitali bila ya kuulizwa maswali kwa sababu maisha ya kila mwananchi ni ya muhimu wananchi wengi wananiuliza kwamba wale hawana uwezo wa kulipa NHIF ama wa kulipa sasa ile card ambayo ni ya social insurance fund itakuwaje wacha mimi nitangaze katika hafla hii ya kuzindua afya nyumbani kwamba kila mwananchi atali, atalipa kulingana na mapato yake na yule mwananchi ambaye hana uwezo serikali ya Kenya itakulipia card ya hospitali kila mkenya atakuwa na social insurance fund card na wewe utaenda hospitali na utatumia hiyo card either umejilipia mwenyewe ama umelipiwa na serikali ili uweze kupata matibabu katika level 4 level 5 and level 6 kwa hivyo kila mkenya either utaenda katika level 1 2 and 3 na upate matibabu bila malipo ama uende level 3 level 4 5 and 6 na utumie kadi yako kupata matibabu na kila mkenya ndio tumesema hakuna mkenya ataachwa nyuma ile maneno ya zamani wewe unaenda kwa facility ya, ya hospitali unaambiwa kadi yako imefika mwisho sasa hii card ambayo tutawapatia haitakuwa na mwisho kwa sababu maisha ya kila mkenya ni ya muhimu. That card will make sure that if the limit is reached then the chronic and illness fund will kick in and every Kenyan will be attended to. Hakuna mkenya atafukuzwa hospitalini kwa sababu ya mambo ya malipo tena. Tunataka tuhakikishe kwamba kazi hiyo inafanyika. In conclusion, allow me to celebrate Kibrugut Chumo, the first Kenyan to win an Olympic medal the first to win an olympic medal by renaming this kericho green stadium after him i think he deserves it let me also say for the people of kericho thank you very much kwa kutukaribisha katika mji wenu wa kericho kwa niaba yangu wacha mimi nirudie kwa niaba yangu na sote tuliokuja hapa kuomba kura zenu deputy wangu akiwa hapa viongozi wale wengine wote wakiwa hapa kwa watu wa Kericho tunawaambia asanteni sana kwa kura zenu watu wa Kericho narudia asanteni sana kwa kura zenu big up Kericho kale hii kale kongoi missing Jambo la pili hapa Kericho mimi niliwaeleza pale mbele ya kwamba mchi wa Kericho hauna ardhi ya kufanya extension hapa Kericho imesongamana sana hii Kericho town 
ni town ndogo kwa sababu hakuna expansion program. Mimi nataka nitangaze ya kwamba nitarudi hapa mwezi ujao. Kwa sababu ile ardhi ya kari elfu moja ambayo ilikuwa na matatizo hapa hiyo matatizo yote sasa tumetatua kama serikali ya Kenya. Na sasa tutapata shamba ekari elfu moja ya expansion development planning ya Kericho Town. Na wale wananchi wako pale tutawapanga katika mpango yetu ya affordable housing ili kila mkenya apate nafasi ya kusherehekea ushujaa wa taifa letu la Kenya. Vile vile nitarudi hapa hivi karibuni kwa mambo yenu ya hospitali, mambo yenu ya damu kwa sababu haya ni mambo yako katika mipango yetu. We also celebrate Mzee Samuel Kipsoi Ngetich Chepsetion. I know you know him. An incredible entrepreneur who exemplifies the bottom up story. A class 3 dropout. He pulled himself up through sheer determination to set up the Kipchimchim group of companies whose interests span various industries and employ thousands of Kenyans. Before his untimely death, Recently, he was working on West Valley Sugar Company that began milling operations last week. <laughs> Fare thee well, Mze Samuel Kipsoi Ngatich Chepsetion. You are a great inspiration to many young Kenyans and many citizens of our country that it is possible to rise up from humble beginnings and make a mark in the Republic of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much. Na nataka ni wauliza wa Kenya wote. Mahali popote walipo leo. Nani wahakikishie wa Kenya wa taifa letu la Kenya. Ya kwamba niya yetu ni kuunganisha wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya. Nani wahakikishie wa Kenya kutoka jamii zote, kutoka county zote, kutoka pembe zote za Kenya ya kwamba hakuna mkenya atabaguliwa na serikali ya Kenya kwa misingi ya kabila, dini ama siasa. Sisi ni ndugu moja wa taifa moja with a common destiny as a people of Kenya. Na mimi nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba chukumu letu mbali na kuunganisha wa Kenya ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunabadilisha taifa letu kwa miradi na mipango ya maendeleo. Nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba sote tutaungana tutafanya kazi kwa pamoja na wauliza ndugu zangu wa Kenya kila mmoja wetu Ile kazi unafanya, ujue ya kwamba hiyo kazi unafanya, usihesabu ni kazi ndogo, usihesabu ni biashara ndogo, usihesabu ni mchango mdogo. Kila mmoja wetu, kwa yale yote mnafanya, ujue unachangia katika kubadilisha na kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Na tutafanya yale yote yanawezekana kama serikali ya Kenya kuwashika mikono nyinyi mnaofanya bidii mnaoamka mapema kuchangia katika kufanya kazi na kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya mbele nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba sitarudi nyuma sita fanya chochote ambayo itazuia mkenya mwenzetu kufikia atma yake ama kufikia malengo yake nia ya serikali yetu nia ya serikali ya Kenya mpango ya serikali ya Kenya ni kumuwezesha kila mwananchi awe bora kuliko alivyo sasa 
muweze kuchangia katika kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya katika mahali mnafanya kazini ile biashara mnafanya yale yote mnafanya katika sehemu mbalimbali mbali. na mimi vile vile nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba nitahakikisha ya kwamba pesa zenu mnazolipa kwa ushuru kwa jasho lenu pesa zenu ambazo tunakusanya katika kaunti zetu kwa levies kwa taxes na kwa njia zingine zote pesa zenu zitatumika kwa njia inayofaa haitafujwa haitaibiwa wafisadi hawatanyemelea na tayari nimetangaza katika taifa letu la Kenya na mtaona mambo hivi karibuni ya kwamba wale wote wanahusika na kuiba pesa ya wakenya na mambo ya ufisadi na mambo ya ukora mambo yao ni matatu na nyinyi mnajua vile nimesema kwa hivyo i want to guarantee every citizen of the republic of kenya that we will hold your hand as you make your contribution in whatever you are doing in a small way in a big way as a casual worker as a permanent and pensionable worker as a worker on contract as a person making waking up early and sleeping late in driving the wheels of our economy in pushing the destiny of our country in the right direction that you have my support you have the support of the government of Kenya and we are going to work together towards building one united democratic indivisible Kenya na mimi nawauliza jameni tuungane katika kazi hiyo Mungu awabariki sana God bless you and God bless our country Kenya Asanteni sana basi niombe kwa heshima sote tuweze kusimama kwa wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya Afrika Mashariki na wale ambao wamevalia kofia zisizo rasmi tuweze kuzivua kwa heshima basi nimlete mwenzangu aweze kutupa itifaki ya kufumukana mali hapa kwako gitone mheshimiwa rais kwa ruhusa yako nitaomba tukubaliwe kuondoka kwa itifaki wananchi tuwe watulivu ili tuweze kuwapisha viongozi wetu kuondoka nafasi hii nitaomba nimwalike mheshimiwa rais daktari William Samoe Ruto rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya na amiri jeshi mkoa wa jeshi ya ulinzi pamoja na mama taifa mama Rachel Ruto wakisindikishwa na mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi wa